In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Arc Search browser for iOS. This just came out today and it's by the browser company who also makes the Arc browser on Mac. But yeah, it's quite an interesting browser with some AI integrated into it. And yeah, you can see screenshots. So it's like a normal browser, but the cool thing about it is you can see that Browse for Me button which can basically summarize stuff from the internet for you and it presents it in this really nice look which personally I do like it's quite nice it also has block ad blocking and tracker blocking as well if that's important to you and it does auto close tabs after a few days if you don't want them anymore now the one thing I don't like about it is there is no iPad app it's only for iPhone, so if you try to install it on the iPad, it's not going to look good. It's just a blown up iPhone app. So we're installing it now and it's a 60 megabyte app, which I guess is not too bad. But yeah, you can see it's installing right now and then we can open it. And here's the onboarding, which is quite nice, honestly. So let's go. It does ask if you want it to be a default browser, which um, I don't want, so I'm gonna skip it. Again, it's asking, I do wanna skip for now. And yeah, here's the browser. I do like the background, quite cool. But yeah, let's close it for now. And we do have this cool logo. We can play around with, but yeah. You press this at the bottom left, you go to tabs, there's more promotional stuff, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So yeah, that's your web address bar, and the bottom right is just your usual browser controls. And if you go to settings, you get your default site settings, where you can basically block ads, block trackers, stuff like that. You can set your default browser, clear data, not a whole lot of settings, but I guess they're trying to be minimis minimalistic. But yeah, now let's take a look at the AI features. So let's say, for example, if you want to check out the new iPhone 15 features, we just type iPhone 15 features and then you press browse for me. It's going to go to um some of the websites and then it's going to present them to you so you can see it does show the pictures and if you click on it it just takes you to to the website but let's go back but yeah it pretty much good. It's still generating the response, but I really like how it displays stuff. That's quite nice. So let's try another search like Xbox games released or Xbox exclusive games releasing 2023. So that's for me. Again, it's going to go through all this. And hopefully it should present it shortly. There we go. Um, Halo Infinite, that's not last year. Probably the expansion pack. I um, can't remember why now, but... Yeah, high five watch is there. But yeah, Starfield, high five watch, Forza Motorsport. It pretty much got that. But yeah. Uh, Flight Sim 2024, that is this year, that's not last year, but I guess 
it's going by the announcement date. So it's not always accurate, but it does get a lot of the stuff right, at least. But yeah, that's quite cool. Let's try one more search that is Um, um, Windows versus Mac OS. Or let's do, um, the most popular browsers in the world. Again, it's gonna go to all this. So I guess the amount of time it takes depends on the server load, but yeah. Obviously Chrome. Okay, I have one more search that is most popular in the world. It's Android, but I do want to see if it gets it right. Yep, pretty much got it. And it does also point out iOS is more popular in the US. That's good to know. I, I was gonna search that anyway, but yeah. Uh, let's do most popular in Canada. I'm not sure myself, but let's see. And it's saying iOS. I'm not surprised if it actually is, but yeah, that's what it's saying. But yeah, that's the Arc Browser. And you can use it as a normal browser if you want. So just, you know, go like Mac Rumors or something. Yeah, use it as a normal browser. Just click something. Turn on reader mode. And read are unavailable. Um, okay, this works. I'm not sure what happened, but yeah. You get an idea, you can use it as a normal browser and you can use it to summarize stuff for you. So yeah, that's a look at the Arc search for iOS. I hope this video is helpful and leave a comment if you have anything to say. I'll try my best to reply to them. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.